Bobby with B&H, and we are in Tokyo, Japan at Fujikina 2019 to check out the new GFX 100. This is a 102 megapixel camera. We're gonna go talk with Justin from Fuji to get all the details. So there's really sort of four, maybe five big things about this camera. The 102 megapixel BSI, so backside illuminated copper process sensor. So it's really fast, has AF points over the entire sensor. So that's our second point that we're phase detection AF now in this larger format sensor. The other things that we have is in-body image stabilization in this camera. So that gives us a lot of flexibility. 102 megapixels, very unforgiving. So having a camera now that we can hand hold down to maybe say a sixth of a second, eighth of a second, um, really opens up the flexibility and capabilities of a larger format chip. It can now go places where people only dreamed of taking them before. So places like helicopters, mountain climbing, we have a camera on the top of Everest right now. So this giving this camera this a lot of flexibility, a lot of capability. And the next thing on my, my checklist and punch list on it is the video capability. So full sensor width, 4K, up to 30p, so we can shoot 24p, 30p. It is 420 10-bit internal, it's 422 10-bit external. That sensor and processor combination that we have will also give us 16-bit output out of it. We dropped to 14-bit, but we can do up to five frames a second with that. So it's got a lot of flexibility, a lot of speed, basically bringing the flexibility of sort of a DSLR type camera to this larger format. Honestly, I think the target market is a lot of people that have been stuck using a 35 millimeter based camera because of the speed, the flexibility those cameras offer, where now they're gonna be opened back up again, where there's a lot of capabilities, a lot of flexibility. So people that were wedding portrait photographers in the past that are looking to differentiate themselves, are looking for something different. We now have a camera that's larger size, bigger files, more resolution. You saw in the presentation that two megapixel crop out of 102 megapixel files. So the kind of information and the kind of resolution we have. So shooting a wedding, you've only got one shot to get the kiss. Being able to crop a vertical or a horizontal out of a single frame because you have so much resolution is really a quite powerful thing. Traditionally, we're very analog, right? We're traditional camera dials on top. But with this camera and knowing the operability of this camera and things we've learned from T3 and other cameras, this camera we see it as having a cinematography based aspect because of the quality of it. Slating really in a kind of wonderful spot in the sensor size in between really big expensive cameras and, and having a lot of flexibility and being much more affordable. So having that capability, but also the still capability, being able to rapidly switch back and forth between the two settings and having the menus and having the operability change. When you have a fixed dial, if I'm on a fixed shutter speed, I'm, I'm shooting stills. I'm shooting stills at a 15th of a second. I throw the camera into video mode, I'm now at a 15th of a second shooting video. If I was having to operate really fast and really quick, it's a wrong shutter speed. So what this flexibility allows us to do, change that mode dial to, from stills to movie. If I'm on 24p, it actually gives me shutter speeds like a 48th. So it's giving me that 180 degree you know, shutter angle that people want to shoot cine. So we're giving that flexibility. We can customize that based on what the camera's configured as, how it's profiled, and what you want to do with it. So it's just giving us more flexibility, giving the user more flexibility to have the camera work better, faster, and easier for them. So that's it for Fuji Kina 2019. Be sure to check in later where we're going to have a full comprehensive video about the GFX 100. I'm Bobby from B&H. See you next time.